to all the dispossessed youth of Africa for perpetuation of communion with ancestral spirits through the fight for African freedom and in the firm faith that the dead, the living and the unborn will unite to build the destroyed shrines. Hello and welcome, beloved, uh, to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Seraki. Sending you so many positive vibes, beloveds. We've started doing this just to clear the atmosphere because really now the, the war has moved to the air to communication, to the narrative. And so there's a lot of attempted interference, et cetera, et cetera, either on my end or your end. So that's just to clear, clear all that stuff, clear all the, the lower vibes so that we can have, you know, we can reason together, beloveds. And, uh, you know, special shout out, of course, to my Patreon family. Thank you so much for supporting us on that platform. We appreciate, love you too, so much, guys. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about what is the great lie that is that is hanging over your life like a major handicap and this great lie is the reason why you don't make progress in your life because beloveds we're spiritual beings having a human experience so everything happens spiritually before it manifests physically and our mind how we think about life is like one of the key players in this spiritual casting because what we do on the spiritual level, we kind of cast our reality. We make choices, we make decisions, we choose dire which direction to go, and then we experience it physically. So it all starts, the seeding happens in here. And then the planting is what, you know, when the plants start coming, that's what we see all around us. So it's like the seeding, the planting happens here, the fertilization happens here. And then now, you know, we bear the fruits in the kind of life that we live. But there is a major lie, beloveds, that has made you fear the truth or that has blocked you in his story. As I told you, the, the actual prison is his story, his narrative, history, this false concept of the world and how the world started and what happened with the world that has become a global worldview that is literally like a chain at, on our feet, beloveds. Because there's that original great lie that you still believe that you fear questioning or you can't even imagine is not true. That is keeping you from many other truths in your life. And that is allowing you to entertain that lie and maintain that lie. Because, you know, they've made it seem like seeking the truth is such an uncomfortable experience. Beloveds, the, the, the first step in your full and total liberation to create your own narrative in your full and total mental liberation is to identify what that great big lie over your life is and then to break it, to do whatever it takes. And I've seen your emails, beloveds, those who email me and they're like, the religious psychosis is so deep. Like that is, and I feel like that's the major lie of over many of our people's lives. It's got them all warped and confused. When they think of, you know, you were born a sinner, then um, your God is, um, you know, your God looks like a Mzungu, but your slave master also looks like a Mzungu. So the one who punished you and raped your grandparents and everything looks like God. Like imagine just the, the mental psychosis of that, beloved. And that's been the cause of many turning the other cheek. That's a spell. It's a conditioning, it's a program, it's a software that's put in here. Turn the other cheek. Don't wage war on your enemies. All these things, beloveds, that literally have our people in a stupor and in a serious paralysis. Because that lie has to be supported by all these other lies. And so you just find yourself living in a total fantasy world that is not real. And for us as a melanated people, why would we want to live in a world in his story where we're at the bottom of the barrel instead of discovering our story 
where we're descendants, you know, we're sun people, beloved. We're children of the sun. We're children of the gods. We're creators ourselves. We have those powers and capabilities. Some of us are on those pure bloodlines. Not everyone is a royal bloodline, beloved. Stories for another time. But his story and this thing of belief, and you see the thing they did is they tied belief to our emotions. And then there's fear and it was beaten into us. So some people feel like if they, if they question Jesus, like they could literally die. I mean, some people are that connected to it. Like it could end their lives. It would be a big sin. It would be a big abomination for them to just question. And to go deeper and to research. Like, and that's a stronghold over your life. These are the principalities. Collectively, as a melanated people, especially on the continent, this, this spell that was cast on us, that we came from monkeys, that we're, you know, we're the ones who all, all disease originates from Africa, every bad thing, we're the dark continent. The fact that we have never taken seriously correcting this narrative it doesn't matter what the mzungu thinks but it matters how we think and perceive ourselves and this is what they've played with and there's still the major publishers i think like over, over like five thousand different news you know tv radio news are owned by like five companies all owned by babylon that's why you see there's like a global narrative there's like a, a propaganda across the world where it will even hit Africa because they even own, you know, TV, national TV stations here. And they're the ones who had all the, the posh Babylon shows and everything, the, all the modern stuff, all the modern music. So they attract big crowds and then they can literally tell our people what the news in their own country is. A lot of us are not even telling our own people our own news, beloveds. It's all scripted and programmed to fit and drive the agenda. And, you know, it's so sad because here in Kenya, there was a massive move um, to get all these vernacular, you know, t station, TV stations and everything. So every, every tongue now has their station. But sadly, like here in the, among the Agikoyo, because, you know, you have to have programming for 24 hours. It's a bit of a process to get the licensing. Um, so our Agekoyo, the, the most popular Agekoyo station, TV station, now features like Indian romance and Indian movies, which show like them doing their Indian rituals and their Indian gods, you know, worshipping their Indian gods. So there's actually a very real concern among our elders that these things that we thought would expand the vernacular and expand our culture are actually being used now again as like brainwashing tools because they're now exposing even the grandma or the child in the village who doesn't even speak English, doesn't know anything about the Mzungu to all these other concepts. So it's like, because we don't take the narrative seriously, beloveds. But you in your own life, what is that big lie that you were told on a personal level? And what is that big collective lie that you believe about our people? Figure that out and break that lie over your life. Because once you break that, that, that core lie, beloveds, for many it's that God is Amzungu. For others it's that we're the only ones that, are, humans are the only living being out there. And that blocks us, that blinds us from our very real cosmic family that is around us right now. Be, you know, like even the be lie to be believing is being in a lie, beloved, living in a lie comfortably. Another one is the geography, this round globe, you know, and I was looking at because we all know, right, we live in a dome. They've never been out of space because to leave out of space, you have to go through a plasma and, the, you know, the Mzungu's bodies are just not strong enough. None of the machinery they have. So everyone is here. We, we're here. We're stuck here. You leave through certain gates. It's not that simple as they try and make it seem like they just shoot through, shoot up. <laughs> Someone said, you know, the spaceships take off and land in Arizona. I love it. Take off from Hollywood and land in Arizona. But beloveds, even this thing of seeing the world as a globe and there's seven continents and all of that, it limits. It's a lie. It limits everything. 
This thing has limited to us so much, beloved, that someone will get on a flight and travel 20 hours from Kenya to, you know, Barbados instead of the two, three hours that it is because we believe in the geographical lie. And there's so many layers of lies, beloved. That's why I say find the fundamental one that kind of anchors all the other lies in your life. And the fundamental lie will either have to do with you, as in your character, who we are as a people, how long we've been around. Even just this thing of, you know, like this age limit. How did we go from living thousands of years to having the shortest life expectancy because of disease and everything? I mean, I wish people would see it properly and see it. So it's been a war from day one. But what is that lie that you couldn't imagine is, is not true? What is that truth that you hold on to? Investigate it. See if it's even true. Because, beloved, it's, that fun, it's your connection, your energetic connection to that core lie, to that fundamental lie that is literally fueling all the other lies in your life because it's like a lie on top of a lie on top of you know how you small you tell a small lie and then you have to remember that small lie and then you kind of have to you know if you, when the lie always it requires another lie to be sustained so find that core lie in your life and you'll find it's either religious psychosis this belief beloved there's been so many master teachers there's been so many buddhas there's been so many gurus we are the gurus we are the buddhas that have been here before and reached a certain level of mastery. Even believing that the Egyptians were Mzungu. I mean, there's people who still believe that. The Egyptians were darker than me, beloveds. And you know, a funny thing is that people don't know is the Egyptians used to come all the way to Mount Zion, the mountain, for their rites of passage so that they could enter the, you know, the royal priesthood. Even the country that you live in is a lie. Many Kenyans don't probably know that Kenya was part of southern Ethiopia. And that's how everything has been muddled up. So find that core lie, break it through research, through reading, through expanding your mind. And I'm telling you, you will see all the other lies that are upholding this Babylon system in your life. Tukopamoja.